guys, welcome back. Uh, so I've been doing some more research on wikileaks.com, um, more research pertaining to Vault 7 Year 1, the first of many data releases confirming the far-reaching re uh, hacking ability of the CIA. Um, now, upon reading more about the smart cars and the ability that these systems have to being hacked and controlled from an external network, it, it just makes me wonder about a number of the recent events that have happened. I mean, <laughs> certainly the first thing that people were saying is the Illuminati murdered Paul Walker and Ryan Dunn and, and Michael Hastings, the journalist, um, and, you know, things that, that might have seemed quite far-fetched to begin with, now that we know the technology does in fact exist, um, you know, it certainly calls into question the official narrative on certain events. And I've been thinking more about missing flight MH370 and the fact that, that back when that first happened, there was many people telling me that these Boeing aircraft had the ability to be remotely controlled or hacked and flown and landed safely in an undisclosed location and uh, in some way cloaked so that it was unfindable. Now... Although I was aware of remote control planes at that time, and, and though I knew the technology did exist and was being used, I did not believe um, really that that, that that was a real possibility, that something that far-fetched could have really um, happened. But certainly these new revelations would cause one to possibly question their first decision on the matter. Um, I mean, some of the popular theories as to what might have happened to missing flight MH370 are that it may have crashed into the ocean and broken up into a trillion little pieces, zero of which was ever recovered by anybody that we know of. Um, many people claim that the flight simply glided to a gentle land uh, on the ocean and then simply proceeded to sink into the deepest depths of the abyss uh, never to be detected or recovered by the best technology we have today. Some people claim that it was, as I mentioned before, hacked and flown to an undisclosed location and then uh, in some way cloaked, where it probably still remains today. Um, possibly somewhere in the Middle East, where it awaits to be used in a further terrorist attack in the future. Um, we don't know. We just don't know. Possibly a little island somewhere, possibly off the west coast of Australia where they were last searching for it, possibly an island there. Um, I don't know. You'd have to really do the calculations um, of the amount of fuel that the plane had on board and see whether it could have flown from Kuala Lumpur all the way out to those islands off the west coast of Australia, but I'm fairly sure they have big petrol tanks and they probably are capable. Um, so I don't know. Um, I wonder what you guys think about this. Uh, I'd love it if you'd comment or send me an email. Let me know what you think happened to Missing Flight MH370. Certainly I've heard a lot of theories. Um, some of the conspiracy theories include the fact that the Freescale um, employees on the plane from the weapons technology firm that were also working on cloaking technology may have had something to do with it. Whether it was to make them disappear or whether they made the plane disappear or whether, you know, uh, I'm not sure exactly uh, what happened there. But, you know, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would, in light of these new revelations, uh, visit MH370 once again. Um, we know that a, um, a new investigation is soon to be opened, alleged to be run by the families of the victims. Um, so it's still, it's still on people's minds. There's still people that want to know the answers as to what happened to it. Did it in fact come to a gentle landing and, and just gently sink down without breaking up on impact, etc.? Let me know what you think. Comment, like, share, etc. God bless.